Today's math lesson is going to focus on two-step story problems. That means that I can't just solve it by writing one equation. I'm going to need two equations to help me to solve these problems. So we need to read them carefully to decide what should I do first and what should I do second. Some problems I will need to add and then add again. Some problems I might need to add then subtract or subtract then add or maybe subtract both times. Every problem will be different. Let's take a look at the first problem to see what we should do. This problem has two parts. The first part we can see at the top. The second part I have hidden behind this large blue rectangle. We're going to start with the first part and then I will reveal the second part. It says, Miss Debussy has six books for the book drive. Mrs. Himmick has five more books than Miss Debussy. Hmm, so if she has more books, do you think we should add her books or subtract her books? Let's add them. So Miss Debussy has six and Mrs. Himmick has five more. Let's see how many Mrs. Himmick has. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mrs. Himmick has 11 books, but we are not finished yet because part two is under this blue bar. Let's take the blue bar away and see what it says to do next. Here is part two. Mrs. Benson brings four more books than Mrs. Himmick. How many books does Mrs. Benson bring? Oh boy. So let's think. We know that Mrs. Himmick brought 11 books. I learned that in part one. But Mrs. Benson brings four more books than Mrs. Himmick. How many did Mrs. Benson bring? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mrs. Benson brought 15 books. We needed to use our answer for part one and it helped us to solve part two. Let's take a look at another problem. The classroom has 16 computers to use. That means that's our total number of computers. Seven girls and four boys are each using a computer. Hmm, now it doesn't clearly tell me if I should add or subtract because I don't see any words like more or gives. I don't see any of those words that I normally look for. But it does say that seven girls and four boys are each using a computer. So I'm going to add those up to see how many kids are using computers already. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven students are using a computer right now. Let's see what we should do in part two. How many more children can use a computer? So we know that there are 16 computers in the room and only 11 are being used. So if 11 are being used, let's find out how many more until all 16 computers are used. I'm going to start at 11 and count up to 16. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's one, two, three, four, five. That means that five more children can use a computer. 
I got the word children from the question here. How many more children can use a computer? So first we needed to find how many computers were taken. Then we could bring that number down to find out how many more could use a computer. Now, if you take a look at this problem, this problem is not broken up in two parts. So for this problem, we need to decide what is my first step and what is my second step. Let's read the problem first to see what we need to do. Julia has 18 oranges. She uses seven oranges to make a fruit salad. I'm going to stop right here because I already heard two numbers and I think I know what to do for the first step. It says that Julia has 18 oranges. Then she uses seven to make a fruit salad. If she uses them, I'm going to take them away because they're already being used. They're not there anymore. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. 11 is a lucky number today, isn't it? So she has 11 oranges. Now I can keep reading. Then she makes another snack with three oranges. So if she makes another snack, we need to take these three oranges away. So I'm going to take my 11 oranges and take three away because she made another snack. And those oranges went away. 11, 10, 9, eight. So she has eight oranges left, which is exactly my question. In this problem, since Julia used oranges first, we did subtraction, then she used three more oranges. So this problem had two subtraction equations. Let's try one last problem together. Sarah has four horses and some chickens. Altogether, she has 13 pets. Let's stop right there. She has four horses and some chickens. We don't know how many that is yet, but we do know that she has 13 pets. Four plus something gives me 13. I'm going to count down for this problem. So I start with 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. That means that she has nine chickens. I know that they're chickens because looking back at my problem, she has four horses, that was our horses, and some chickens. So we have nine chickens. Let's keep reading and see what happens next. Then her aunt gave her five more chickens. How many chickens does she have? So from the first problem, she started with nine chickens. Then it said her aunt gave her five more chickens. More means I'm getting a bigger number. How many chickens does she have? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That means that she has 14 chickens. Something that might be helpful to do especially with two-step problems, is at the end when you find your final answer, it might be helpful to put a nice circle around it. This would be good so you see where your answer is and for your teacher to see where your answer is, especially because we're going to have two different equations. So 
it might be helpful to everybody if we can circle our answer and then we will all know which one our final answer has. Make sure to read these questions very carefully and think what happens first and then what happens second. They all have two steps.